Okay, we're gonna give you a uh, fourth YouTube video here. This is Greg and Teresa Rootbeer Hodges, 1941 Willys Pro Tour. They're up here from Amarillo, Texas to pick this up today. And uh, you got a pretty good setup here. We got some billet specialties 20 by 10s on the rear, 17 7s on the front. And you can see from our earlier video, we showed you the uh, big old Willwoods under there. I'll zoom in a little bit, but you can see how nice that they fill the big windows in those wheels. So they're going to stop the car on the dime and uh, look great doing it. We'll give you a quick walk around the car here. It's a little sunny out today, so not the best day to take pictures, but we'll do what we can. I'll give you a shot down the side. You can see how nice and straight the car is. Body lines all match up. We'll walk you over to the hood. And this is our preliminary hood gap here, which uh, is better than probably what a lot of you will see at the shows. Door lines are all good. And we'll give you a shot in here. We got the uh, Flaming Rivers uh, polished stainless steel steering column here. And our three spoke wheel at the top, missing a horn button, uh, which we won't put on until the car gets aligned. And we've got a four inch drop down dash panel here, right under the dash. And that's good for hiding a lot of accessories, ignition, air conditioning, ducts, uh, pretty much anything you want. You can see the floor mount down there at the bottom, is polished aluminum as well. And our drop hiding under there. These particular cars are running uh, Balls Power window kits made in the USA. And I try to buy US stuff wherever we can. It's getting harder and harder every week. And you can see the uh, inner door panels are removable at the top. So you can put feathers in there and weather stripping. And uh, makes it a lot easier on the builder. We got our 15 gallon fuel cell down here with uh, custom bracketry and a stainless steel vent tube in the rollover vent. And you can see the uh, 0 to 90 ohm GM sender hiding on the front of that. So I'll give you a quick walk around the car here. And one thing which you'll see with our cars, which you don't see in a lot of the others, is the wheel wells and the uh, wheels are perfectly aligned. Nothing annoys me more than having the wheel offset in the wheel well. So we usually set these things uh, right up in the dead center. Also see again, got a little over a 12 inch uh, Willwood brake setup on there. You can see the uh, four bar in the background. We'll zoom back out there. And we'll show you some of our little trick stuff here. We got some 41 Willys uh, tail lights on the back. These are just about dead similar to the original Willys, except for the fact that they're LEDs and uh, about five times brighter than the originals. So those are a good setup. I'm gonna have Robbie open the uh, trunk for us. Since the car is not wired, we've got a little emergency uh, cable here. And you can see the trunk is uh, pretty well balanced. We'll walk around here. And the sun right in our eyes here, but you can see nice fuel cell there. You can see our aluminum trunk latch assembly. And there we go a little bit. You can see the uh, gas shocks hiding over there, but you can see the trunk is really well balanced. I'm going to have Robbie pop the hood for you. And as we go along, you can see how. Nice the bodies look. And we're gonna pop the there we go with the hood. Gear shocks on the hood as well. You can see those looks a lot better than your usual hickory stick. And that's pretty much it. We've got a uh yeah. You can see a little bit of the smooth inner liner on the hood here, so it doesn't look like raw fiberglass. And down there you can see our steering and whatnot that we showed you the other day with the uh, firewall forward picks. So all in all, it's ready for motor, transmission, wiring, some gauges, and upholstery, and uh, they'll be on the road for spring. I'll give you a 
get it over here. Sorry about the sun today. It's uh, not making for great photography, but I think you get the idea. And that's our willies. Another uh, pro tour going down the road, finding its home in Amarillo, Texas. I'll just give you a quickie on the uh, tire combo here. These are 10 inch, uh, 20 by 10s. You can see we get some pretty good meat hitting the ground there. And uh, I don't think we'll have any problems with traction at all on this car. So hope you enjoyed our uh, fourth video and we'll see you with the next one.